In God of War Ragnarok, Kratos, the once-speared Spartan warrior turned Norse god, embarks on a perilous journey with his son Atreus. Set in the realms of Norse mythology, the game follows their struggle to prevent Ragnarok, the apocalyptic event prophesied to bring about the end of the world. The story picks up where the previous game left off, with Kratos and Atreus seeking to uncover the truth behind Atreus' identity and destiny. Along their journey, they encounter old and new allies, including the mysterious god Tyr and face formidable foes like Freya and Thor who are bent on revenge. Kratos, hunted by his past and driven by his desire to protect his son, must confront his inner demons and harsh realities of fate. As Atreus grapples with his own identity and the burdens of prophecy, their bond is tested like never before. Together, they navigate the treacherous Nine Realms, uncover ancient secrets, and engage in epic battles against gods and monsters. The game's narrative delves deep into themes of parenthood, destiny, and redemption, offering a rich and emotionally charged experience. As Kratos and Atreus fight to alter their fate and avert Ragnarok, they must also come to terms with their roles in the unfolding events, holding a path forward in a world on the brink of destruction. Hey you everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to take a deep dive into the world of the God of War, Ragnarok, specifically its main protagonist, Kratos. Yes guys, this is the Spin Master's second release in their The Shapes collection line. Is it as good as their Horizons Aloy figure? Let's find out. Let us start with the packaging. The front of the box states PlayStation, God of War Ragnarok, Kratos, in the survival gear set. It also notes he has 31 points of articulation. It has a huge clear window that enables us to see the figure and all that comes with it. The right side of the box shows the figure and all its accessories, Kratos survival gear set, 31 points of articulation, and the name of the sculptor and painter who were Rundle Paul Bennett and Dong Jin Choi. The left side of the box shows the same art from the game's cover and the name and logo of the line, The Shapes Collection. Finally, the back of the box shows an amazing photo of Kratos from the game. That is it for the packaging, so let us crack this open and see if Spin Master did justice in Kratos' action figure form. The figure scales around six and a quarter inches or 16 centimeters. For accessories, he comes with two alternate clothes pieces. They are single peg and the articulation is this way. That. For weapon, he has an axe. A gauntlet, and a huge shield. Okay, I guess in a way this is like their normal release of figure compared to the Aloy, which is, I guess, is a deluxe figure because that Aloy really has a lot of accessories as compared to Kratos here. 
for example, he comes with this neutral head sculpt and it doesn't come with an alternate head sculpt compared to Aloy, which has a lot of different paste plate. And I kind of wish that they gave us at least one alternate angry head because yeah, this is a very this is this is a very neutral face. I don't have a problem with it. It looks good. It is a pretty good looking Kratos head. I think the paint is done sharply, but I kind of just wish that they gave us at least one alternate angry head. The leathery armor, which is supposed to be what he is wearing, is made of soft plastic. So you can move that like that. And yeah, this is made of soft plastic, so it won't really get in the way of articulation. I do like the design. I just want to show you guys the... sculpted detail that they provided with this leather armor i guess spin master is really at the top of their game when they created this figure because that's a that is an amazing uh, sculpt Paint-wise, sculpt-wise, I don't have any complaint with this one. I guess this is... Okay, I guess this is included on their points of articulation. Then, red patch, knife. Unfortunately, this knife doesn't... Uh, this knife is fixed. That one... Yeah... And then the hands. Yeah, I, I, I love the sculpted details. It does have a hole here. So you don't have any other option than to put a shield or at least this gauntlet when it's not in use. Now, I haven't really played the game yet, so I'm not sure how is the orientation? Oh, yeah, no. Based from the shape, I think there's only one way you can put it. It's. I thought it was a square, but it's not. So, yeah, there's only one way to put it. So you won't have any mistake. Because my, my worry was that I don't know the orientation of this uh, gauntlet because I haven't played the game yet. But, yeah, that solves it. Then for the legs, yeah, lots of sculpted details here. This figure looks amazing. Look at that. Okay. Amazing. Overall, as far as the sculpt and the paint, it is an A+. For the articulation, I'm already going to start with the one that I don't like. Just like Aloy, the hands, specifically the elbow, is only single joint. So yeah, I don't know why they made that decision. So it's only single joint with rotation here. It does have a bicep cut and... A nice butterfly articulation. A spark. Let's see if this works too. Yeah, it does work too. So as I, as as expected, since this is soft plastic, it is not in the way of articulation. It doesn't hinder it. So that's a good. That's a very nice butterfly articulation for the front. yep yep nice range for the front 
on the other side, I guess in this case, just because of the design of this, will it be in the way? Okay, so it's still good. The, because of the design, the other side of the hand can only go that far. So, yeah, still not so bad. Again, my problem for this figure, I'm guessing, if it is the same as the Aloy figure, is the single jointed elbow. For the head, he can look up that far. I guess his beard is on the way, so he can only look down that far, side to side. Yep, that's for the head articulation. Again, I guess because of the design choice, design of the uh, armor, they only gave him a waist rotation. Although it does work because he can lean back that far, he can lean forward that far, and side to side. So, yeah. It has, he has articulation in the in the waist, but yeah, it's it's kind of limited because of this. For the leg, he has a tie cut for tie articulation, double jointed knee. That's a pretty good range. That doesn't look good though. Then. For the ankle, it does have a, an ankle racker. And then it can. Do that. And can you move forward? Yep, you can move forward. He does not have any toe articulation. Unlike Aloy, so I guess maybe for their deluxe figure, that's another advantage of their deluxe figure because Aloy has a toe articulation and this one doesn't. He can kick back that far and kick forward that far. Pretty good. Then he can do the bend them. Now for some size comparison, here he is with the first release of this The Shapes Collection line, Eloy. Yeah, uh, I think this is correct because basically Kratos is supposed to be a big dude. Now since this is in the 6 inch scale, let me compare it to a Marble Legend. Considering the uh, Wolverine is a, one of Marvel Legends' smaller figure, and he is supposed to be a huge character. I think my theory is correct that Spin Masters, uh, the shape collection line, is more on the smaller scale six inch figure, like. Uh, like SH figure arts because I think proportion wise if he will be in the same scale of Marble Legends he should be bigger. Here he is with Jada's Ryu and again just proving my point I guess proportion wise the Spin Masters figure is more on the smaller version of 16 scale. Here he is again, see G.I. Joe figure, the classic Duke. And yeah, yeah, I guess this is enough evidence for me to prove that Spin Master's line is more is more on the smaller proportion 6 inch figure because they're almost the same size. 
I almost forgot if you don't want him to hold the axe you can actually store it here so he does have storage at the back overall I think this is a pretty good action figure and a nice second release for Spin Master's uh, new line of the ships collection. I still find the, the the name of this line that they give really, you know, really not that catchy. I mean, the ships collection. Anyway, um, I love the sculpt. I love the paint job that they did. No wonder they, they had to provide the name of the sculptor and the one who painted it because they definitely did an amazing, amazing job on these figures. Uh, this is a well-designed Kratos figure. But I guess my only concern on this one is that, yeah, I think my theory that uh, they are in the smaller, you know, in smaller, smaller proportion, six-inch scale, like SH figure art. So they may not, uh, they may not uh, mix well with other retail retail figures like Marvel Legends and well why would we mix them with Marvel Legends anyway but yeah that, that's just what I want to uh, I just want uh, you guys to know uh, if you do want to collect these figures they are a little smaller in scale for a six for a six inch line but as far as the sculpt I have no complaint. Paint, I have no complaint. I just wish that since when they release their figure, they are uh they are they don't really release in wave like Marvel Legends. I just wish that they just really gave us also a deluxe version of this one, giving us more accessories, just like what they did with uh Aloy, because after being spoiled but the, by that Aloy figure with the accessories and alternate fa face sculpt, I, 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 found, I find that uh, the accessories that this figure has is a little lacking. Although they do have a difference in price, but I would rather have, you know, a deluxe version of this one because this is a pretty good looking figure. You can actually compare it to an to the to the other import brands like SH Figure Arts and even Mayfax for me. I think I think so. So I don't know. I I, I think the I, I saw the the other the other figures in this uh, that they are that are that they already announced. They are mostly regular release. So I guess they won't be as as accessorized as the Aloy figure. Anyway, still, this is an amazing Kratos figure, and yeah, definitely a good addition to my collection. So guys, if you've reached this part of my video, thanks a lot. If you love my video, please don't forget to uh, hit the like button, share and subscribe because it really helps it really helps my channel so again guys thank you and enjoy life and keep collecting